realizing it's, you know, that's why I think that when you work on yourself and you improve in the ways that you need to and grow, um, it really, you do have to do it for yourself and, and nothing else because, um, the world may not always reward you taking time to go sit on a hill and look at the clouds and release, you know, not let any more cortisol build up, you know, and, and you gotta, you gotta know that it's worth it no matter what. And I think you realize why it's worth it when you, when you start, Um, and I think that for me is like, I just didn't realize, you know, what's the point if I, you know, can't keep up all these things and juggle all these things, this is what it's all about. And then realizing, oh, that's really not, it's, it's really not that important in the scheme of things. And, and I love the people that watch my videos and they love when I am the best version of myself. And that means sometimes that I'm not there. And so yeah, I think it's the answer is I don't juggle them. I try to just keep it at a pace that works for me. And I still sometimes have stressful nights when I'm like, oh, I got to get this done. And I, I keep getting better at at putting the brakes and being like, is it is it worth it? You know, because, you know, today is all you have. Is it really worth feeding that today? Because what if, you know, what if tomorrow is not what you expected, you know? Um Really, is that is that how you want to spend this time? When when it's an option not to, because we don't always have that option. And um, but if we have the incredible blessing of having that option to stop, you know, why why would we not? You know, so at least this is stuff I'm trying to apply. But it's hard. There's so much pressure. <laughs> it's okay. I, I I think I I totally understand what you're saying, and it's so nice to hear what you're saying as a creator and also a business owner because I've also I think. It's about your values and your focus shifting, right? If you value your inner peace, then it means that your the priority that your productivity or your career it, it's going to go down a little bit. And the reality is, like you said, is like the happier, more peaceful, and balanced I feel. Like I might not be creating as much, I might not be achieving as much, and the numbers, everything will go down. And it's about being okay with that knowing that you value your, you prioritize and value like your inner peace, right? Right, so exactly. It, it goes against what society is trying to teach us. Oh, you have to be the best all the time. Right, yeah. I think even just look, you know, watch commercials for half an hour and nine out of 10 of them are about how to save time and to be more productive, to say like, don't make your breakfast, have the like milkshake have I mean I do sometimes but you know (laughs) you know like you know find ways to like save a few minutes here and there and speed up to get more done in less time and all that and that may be the answer for some people but for me and I know for for a lot of people it's uh it just adds fuel to that internal chaos and and yeah once you have that those still waters you realize oh it's like I'm I'm living again (laughs) right at least from my experience, I realized that my stress was not worth the success. It's like, I'd rather feel happy and calm and at peace. I think a lot of people are fueled by that. Oh, not enough. Like I have that, whether it's perfectionism or- I need to succeed. Exactly. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, So it just, I think the lesson is it all depends on what you value as a person and, and also to not judge other people for how they live their life. Cause, cause, uh, other people, like let's say they value like success and career, they might look at you and not they they'll be like, oh, she she's not doing it right because she's whatever, right? But it's like each person has different values and they prioritize different things, which I think is beautiful. So as long as you feel good about your life and about yourself, then that's great. Yeah, you're you're so right. It's uh, I guess uh. Like, yeah, different answers for different people and what you prioritize. But I I do love, I think that's the hidden challenge of living for peace and happiness because it doesn't always show externally. And yet, um, you know, you, uh, uh, in in terms of your career, what you're doing, and yet, uh, you know, it's value. And that's why all all that great change needs to come from yourself. And I, I don't know about you, but you know, I assume because you exude this aura of, uh, of kindness, um, mm-hmm. that the people in your immediate space do see that change. At least that's been the feedback I've gotten from I my think own so. family. People like, can wow, feel that. Are, yeah. You yeah. are uh, so happy. You are mm. um, so much more peaceful. It is, you know, the, these waves have leveled out into much more manageable waves for you mm. and there's still ups and downs, but, um, 
that you know you are you're living on your own terms and i'm i'm it, it means so much to get that feedback and i think it's that um and to get p- feedback from others that oh you know you choosing this has inspired me to like take a little more time you know uh, uh away from the office to spend a little more time with my my pets or my family and just feeling that like realization of when you heal other people also want to heal and you heal each other and and it's just it's it's so wonderful but you're right it's all an individual journey you know i could talk to a different person and they'll have a completely different philosophy on life you know right but, <laughs> but i at least i i think we're on the same page where we at we're at the point where the internal matters more than the external and and also the fact that you're healing and you're still creating like whatever you create and share with others will spread healing as well. So I think that's beautiful. 